Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I will be showing you part one of my sticker collection slash organization. Um, I usually store my stickers in a binder and these are just like my weekly kits um, and I've got them sorted by the weeks in which I want to use them. And this is just a marble, white marble binder with some gold accents that I got from Amazon. And I can also link it down below if you want one similar. Um, this is what I got. So let's get into it. Let me open up the binder, make sure we're all still in frame. So here are my kits. I have them in these two pocket dividers that I just purchased from Amazon. Um, and then I, I think I watched maybe Elle's video of how she stores her kits and I just kind of emulated that. I made my own weekly stickers like labels. And so these are just the stickers that you can get at the back of the Plum Paper Planner or the Erin Condren Planner, like my old planners. Um, and I never used these stickers because um, like they're matte and they don't really go with my like usual planning style so I had a bunch of them left over so I just peeled them off and wrote down the um, dates of the weeks and I've marked them from July the first week of July all the way to about mid-April of 2021 I believe so a lot of kids I know and they're not all filled out but I'm going to walk through every single one and kind of explain my collection and my method of storing. So the first kit would have been for um, this past week, so June 29th through July 5th, um, but I've already used this kit, so it's not here anymore, and you can actually see a plan with me, and I'll link that below if you want to see the kit I used for this week. And then the next kit is actually for this week, so for July 6th through the 12th, it's actually my birthday week, and I have this glitch planner kit from Glam Planner. Um, it's just a glitch kit and I have all of the stuff in these like little, the bags that it comes in. So I just slide it in here. Oh, one thing I want to mention is I do usually put not only the kit, but anything I know that I'm probably going to use with it. So I got this foil overlay in a Squirrel Prints Co. Mystery Foil grab bag, and I just thought the pink looked really nice with these colors, so I put it in with this kit, just so it's one less thing to kind of have to store, and then I can really make sure I'm using all of my stickers by kind of filing them away in when I'm going to use them. So I think I got cut off last time, so I'm just gonna restart this video, um, but I already used, or started using, the kit for my birthday so I'm just gonna kind of move on to the next page and I'll be I have like the extras in here right now but that I'm still working through so I will move on to the rest of it and um, once I'm done with this whole sheet I'll put it in the back and get rid of these labels and make new ones so this kit here is for the week of July 13th through the 19th and I didn't have a full kit for this it's one of those like Franken kits is what I'm trying to call it, um, where I just use some stuff I got from grab bags, like various grab bags, mix it together to make my own kit, um, to make it a complete spread. So I'll put in all of the stickers that I'm thinking I'm probably going to use um, all together to make it easier for me to store, and then I don't have to have as much storage of the individual pieces, and it's kind of fun for me to kind of use my creativity to put them together. So I'll walk you through what I picked for this one. If you guys are curious, um, so these are the glitter headers from Scribble Prints Co. I got these in a glitter header grab bag. Same with the 15mm washi, but it was a 15mm washi grab bag. And the art is from Festival Vibes by Scribble Prints Co. And then these two sheets are from the Glam Planner um, glitch grab bag that I hauled previously. And I think these both are from the Pride Kit from last year. Um, but unfortunately I didn't have art to go with a full pride kit so I kind of thought the summer colors would go really well with it and I really like these rainbow heart boxes and the rainbow um, glitter headers. So there's this one. Moving on for the week of the 20th through the 26th, 
is actually my boyfriend's birthday, so I have a Franken kit that I made for his birthday, so I'll show you that. I always base the um, Franken kits off of the full boxes, which is why I really like to get the Scribble Prince Co. Um, full box grab bags because it makes it a lot easier to kind of theme your functional pieces around it if you have the the full box full boxes already here. I also will get some in like the Glam Planner grab bags, but they're not as guaranteed as obviously just getting a full thing of grab bags of <laughs> full boxes. So this is the Once More With Love for your anniversary. And I just think it's a really cute celebratory kit. It doesn't necessarily say anniversary, but I thought it would be good for his birthday because it's not too it's not too girly of a kit. And I just think the munchkins are really cute. And obviously I think he's really cute. So I thought it was nice. And then I got the um, glitter headers. And with Scroll Prince Co., one nice thing is you can check to see if the pieces go together, if the, um, I don't know, the side part is the same. So you see how it's like gray with the gold. That means that it's probably from the same kit, which is nice. Um, so that's the first thing I usually do with Scroll Prince Co. is see which ones were made together and then I try and add on from it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this pink 15mm or this like kind of muted blue because I feel like they're both in the kit but we're still deciding. Then I've got the um, heart checklist boxes from my Father's Day kit. I think it was called Who's Your Caddy from Glam Planner and I thought the grays with the kind of sparkle accents would go well with the art in this kit. And then I just have like a peach tan um, kind of anytime like it can pretty much go with anything because it's like so faded and muted um so i thought that might go well with the peach in this kit just so that i could have like a weekend banner and some of the other like functional items and extra like um what are they called flags <laughs> um and a movie marquee and some weekly trackers as well to add on and then here are some just extras from my father's day kit um, just because I thought the gray went nicely together so I try and store it all together to make it a little bit easier for me and so just because these kits are placed down now it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm a hundred percent going to use it like some of them I probably am but they are all subject to change so you might see different ones on my um, Instagram or on my YouTube channel just in case I mix stuff around and I do think at least one of these July ones is going to change because I might be doing a Christmas in July collab um, coming up so that's a super sneak peek information for you guys for watching this um, with someone that um, is very cool that I met in the planner community so that's a little tea okay Anyways, this one is for July 27th through August 2nd. This is the cruise mini kit that I got from the Scribble Prince Co. Random Pull, and I really like this one. Very cute and summery. Obviously, I will not be going on a cruise anytime soon, um, but I still like the colors, and it feels very summery as it's getting so, so hot in Georgia, so definitely feeling the summer vibes. This sticky is essential, sticky essential, sticky essentials? Say that five times fast okay this kit i really really like it i don't know why it doesn't fit in the sleeves because i have other kits of hers that fit in these two pocket dividers but this one and the other one i got in this order doesn't i'm not really sure why but i really do like this kit this is called self love and it's on her premium mat and i just think it's beautiful and so i'm excited to use this the first week of august and so i just store it this way even though it doesn't really fit, but I'm gonna use it anyway, so I don't really care. And oh, also, I just had these like postcards from my last um, binder organizi organization, so I just put it here because it was start of August and it says August, September. Moving on, for the next week in August, I have this glitch kit from Glam Planner. It's like the 90s theme. This one I got on super, super sale. I think it was like four or six ninety five. Like it was ridiculous. Um, for a whole luxe kit. And I think it's very cute and summery. Like I just love all of the like kind of like ombre going on like with the phone or the heart, the shorts. So I'm very excited to use that. I would definitely recommend joining the Glam Planner Facebook group 
She gives all of the information for all the sales. She also kind of goes through and gives you an inventory of what's going to be on sale, the prices, so you can budget and plan. And it's just very comprehensive, very nice. And I really, really appreciate it. And you can get some beautiful kits um, for a really good deal. And most of the time, like the glitch is something you won't even know. Like you, a lot of these kits I look at and I'm like, are they really a glitch? Like you can't even tell. So I would definitely recommend that. Now this kit has got to be one of my most favorite kits. I think this is so beautiful and I was almost about to use it on my birthday but it's not really a birthday kit so I'm excited to use this in August. I just think it's beautiful so I'm gonna run you through it really quick. Like all these purples and blues. Purple is my favorite color so I'm very very biased but I really like it and then like look at all the sparkle. Oh, I just think it's so nice. I'm gonna flip it this way, keep it in order. And then the washi and the two today. Oh, it's so pretty. I just, I love, it's so relaxing. It's so peaceful. I just love this. I think it's so cute. Like look, it's a cupcake with a little mermaid tail. And these heart chocolates, come on. So I think this is really, really cute. I'm really excited to use it. I'm actually, I don't know if you guys play Animal Crossing, but I love Animal Crossing and with the new summer update you can like go into the ocean and go diving and then if you catch a scallop I believe sometimes this like new creature or not creature but character Pascal will come up and trade you DIYs so you can get like mermaid themed items on your island and I want my whole island to be mermaid themed so hopefully by the time I use this I will have a mermaid spread in my planner and a mermaid themed island I'm I'm very excited okay moving on so this kit is called Good Things from Scroll Prince Co. This is another one that I picked up in the random pull. This was also a great deal, so if you're not on her Facebook group, I would also recommend that because she gives all the information there as well. And I think Ultimates were $9.95 and mini kits were $4.95. And so that's obviously a really good deal compared to the regular prices. And I was just really excited to get this and I think it's really cute and pink and kind of like a good transition from some of the super, super summery kits um, that's not as bright, but still like relaxing and happy. Then I've got this kit from Sticky Essentials. So you can see that this kit actually does fit in the divider. So I don't know why the other one doesn't, it's so weird. But this one is called Home because I don't think the format is very different. I'm not sure, maybe the format's different, that would make sense. But anyways, I got this one, I like the Kind of mint color going throughout this. I think it's really nice and calm. And then I have these glitter headers from Squirrel Prince Co. that I thought went really nicely with the kit with like the mint green and the black and then this kind of white color I thought would look really good. Moving on to September. Now I know that a lot of planner girls start doing the real fall kits in September but I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys I'm not super obsessed with fall I know I know everyone is crazy about fall but I don't know it just it doesn't do it for me at least I don't really like to start it until much later than I think everyone else starts with the pumpkin everything so for me it's my planner so you know I can do whatever I want so for me, I like to kind of do more of like anytime kits in this like transitional time in September and like the beginning of October um, until it starts about Halloween is when I start really getting into fall. So maybe that's also growing up in California when, you know, all of the seasons look the same. We have one season, so it's not as alluring to me. But anyways, I'm using the Get It Done kit by Sticky Essentials and I think the warm tones are a nice like fading end of summer spread for me and like the copper I think it's really pretty then I have um glam planner I have the art it's a franken kit let me explain it's like a franken kit starting with the art for a glam planner I think it's a mystery kit I keep them all in these like bags no matter if it's like a franken kit or a real kit so anytime i get a kit i just keep the bag that it comes in just for ease when i'm trying to plan 
So these sheets, I believe, do go together, and I got these in the grab bag because this pattern and this pattern are the same. The greens look very similar. And then we have this, which I think is with Case of the Mondays, but I don't know, I thought the black and white pattern was still in this, so it would go well together anyways. And then we've got all these black little things which would pick up on the black and white pattern, and there's a little bit of green. And I know you might be thinking like this page obviously doesn't go with this and that's true it's with the um, the 90s themed kit but just like don't think about these stickers right here like just imagine these ones over here and they're got a lot of greens and a little bit of blue and there's some blue there and like some pink so I think it'll go I hope it'll go we'll see catch me September 14th um, and you can see if it goes or not All right, moving on into September, I've got another Franken kit that features the art from Ferris of them all from Squirrel Prince Co. And this is like the Snow White themed kit. So I just have this art here. And then I'm just combining it with the heart checklist from Glam Planner. I'm not sure which kit this is from, but I just thought the blue and yellows would go well and then I have this 15 mm washi so I don't have the whole spread figured out already but I have the beginning of it and the base of it and as I go through my collection I can add more or just go through my functional stickers on the week of to add anything I need whether that be washi or labels or whatever for September 28th through October 4th I forget what this kit is called, but I really, I got a lot of art from it in the grab bag and I just think it's beautiful. So like, look at this. I think it's like, like Sunday morning or like easy morning or something about the morning. I just think, I just think the fashion girls are so pretty. I really, really like this. And I got a lot of the pieces. So I got all of that art, plus these functional stickers, these functional stickers, and these fashion new girls. This, if anyone remembers this page, you are an OG Glam Planner uh, follower. This was from when she used to do the July monthlies, like back when everything was based on the monthly colors. This is from Sweet Quiet Design, so disregard that, but this whole thing is from then, and I always really liked these, and I just had an extra, and I thought it, the navy would kind of go with all the blues in this kit, so we'll be using that soon. Then moving on to October, I know what you might be thinking, October is definitely fall, Gabrielle, but hear me out. October is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so I wanted to do the first two spreads, like the first half of the month, I wanted to do all pink um, spreads to remind myself about that and make sure I get involved in some of the things that I usually do for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, uh, whether that is doing a donation or working at any charity events, things like that. So. I started off with this Franken kit, and this is also like a Mother's Day kit, I believe. I'm not sure the name of it, but it has a lot of pinks in there. Then we've got the pink and white um, heart checklist, some functionals. This is some leftovers from the Let's Stay in Bed kit that I used previously. Some more functionals, more leftovers, more leftovers. So I just thought the pink from those leftovers kind of tied in, and I might use that as well. Then I've got Ethereal from Scribble Prints Co. Um, another Franken kit. So I've got the full boxes, some washi, heart track, uh, not heart trackless, but glitter washi, glitter, glitter headers washi, and then some extra deco from the same kit. All right, so October 19th is when I have officially decided to start the fall and the Halloween spreads. So I've got a Cruella de Vil Franken kit um, that I'll be showing you guys. So here we go. This is from Scribble Prints Co. And this came in, I think I got, this came in the full box grab bag, but then I also got like a functional sheet grab bag and these two came together, which is nice. So these functional sheets all go with it. You can tell by like the label and like the colors match. Look at this closet, oh my gosh. And then I've got the washi, 
glitter headers, and then some sparkly foil that I actually got in a rack um, from one of my Scribble Prints orders, and I thought it would look really nice with this kit. All right, after that, I've got my Halloween kit. Now, Elle always does a lot of like really cool Halloween kits. I think it's her favorite holiday, and so the art is always fantastic. So I was really excited to get some Halloween stuff from her in the grab bag. We've got these spooky heart checklists. I believe this one is from Spooky Spaghetti, this fashion girl set. We've got like some kids doing trick-or-treating, a Scooby-Doo art. I also have like a haunted, haunted mansion, a haunted house, I think it's called art and some boxes. I have some washi and some functional stickers from Scroll Prints Co. So I'm really excited to see how this one turns out. I have a lot of different pieces but I think they'll all really go together with the purples and the orange and the black for Halloween. So Halloween. I've got some more fall-esque kits. So um, for November 2nd through the 8th I'll show you what I'm pulling together. I'm not 100% sure about this, but this is what we've got so far. So I'll start you with the full boxes. This is Fam 2 from a kit, and I'm not sure which kit, but I do like all the pumpkins and like the reds. I think it looks really pretty, and like all the characters are pretty cute. So we'll see. Then I've got these glitter headers, and I'm not sure if it really will go, but I thought maybe the blues and like people's like pants and shirt, and then the orange, obviously the orange will kind of go, and then Maybe I'll end up just using this one because it's kind of a neutral. And then I got this girl who I think is so funny. She's just like in a onesie that's like, basically she's like a pumpkin spice latte girl. Like she's got a pumpkin on her. She's got all the drinks and like some leaves. Like I just think it's so funny. And then I've got the orange um, washi tape. Moving on, I've got Serenity from Sticky Essentials. This is a mini kit that's all together and it also fits super nicely in there. Then I've got another Sticky Essentials kit and I'll pull it out so you can see the, the art for it. So it's, I think, oh, it's called Espresso, right? And then I also have these glitter headers that I thought might look nice with it. I also want to preface that as the year goes on, my kits, you know, are less fully formed. I usually try it, check in every month and see like, what do I need? Or like trying to pull things and going through my functional sheets and trying to pull it all together. But as the year goes on, it's less and less pulled together. So this is just kind of like a base. So this is Thanksgiving week and I actually have two different Thanksgiving kits and I'm not sure, or the art, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use both of them or which one I'll use, but I have one from Plan Planner and one from Scribble Prints Co. Then we're moving on to more of my winter kits. This is just another old um, post-it note that I have from my previous setup. So I just used that to mark November 30th through December 6th because it's like the first week of December and I usually start my winter stuff then right after Thanksgiving um, so this is just some fashion boxes that I have this kit this didn't really go with the kit but I just in my head it kind of went because it's like kind of shopping it's like Black Friday I don't actually ever do Black Friday shopping but I like the art of it like I like the thought the idea of doing it but I don't actually ever do it um, so like if you were shopping and a lot of times people get up really early so I was like oh it could be like 4 a.m. and you're like looking in the shops I don't know I feel like all of these pages really go well together and I think they're actually from the same kit. So I got these in the grab bag. This is actually every single page here I got in the Glam Planner grab bag that I recently hauled. Then I have the start of another wintry themed kit. Um, it's called Winter, Winter Sparkle. I can't read that with the white. Um, from Squirrel Friends Co. and that's all I have picked out for that kit. So I definitely have work to do. Sorry, <laughs> moving on to this kit. This is a Misfit rack bag that I actually got in one of my orders and that red overlay, the red sparkly overlay from the Corella um, kit actually went came with this, but I knew I'd use that one first, so I put it there and then I'll pop it here when I'm done with it. So it included 
included some half cut headers, which are really, really pretty. And then it gave me a lot of the pages from Holiday Soiree. So I got the full boxes sheet. I got some functional and then <laughs> Plants with Emily calls these boxes post-it note boxes. And I think that that's such a good name because that's exactly what they are. Like, I remember when I first saw this, I didn't really understand what I would be doing with it, but I just think that's such a cute name. So I've got post-it boxes here, another full box, some washi labels, little things, more fancy labels and more washi, and some full boxes for reading they'll do. So that's like basically a full kit um, that I got in the rack bag plus foil. So I thought that was really, really, really sweet for Andrea to include in her orders. I know it says it's a misfit, but again, I don't really see a misfit. So, I mean, I'll let you know when I like use it, if there's anything, but it looks pretty perfect to me. This is for the week of Christmas. I don't have it all together yet for my Christmas kit, but it is in December, so I think I have some time, um, but I do have this label. Um, sampler that I got in a grab bag these glitter headers I think will look good with like any Christmas kit that's in the traditional colors the fashion girls here and I think they're so cute like with her bow and then a couple other full boxes and a couple other functional sheets so I still have some time to kind of get it together that's what I have so far moving on to New Year's I don't know what I'm doing here, but I only have, oh, I do have a little bit pulled. Okay, so I have the full box page, then I have some washi and some glitter headers. Now, I know what you're thinking, Gabrielle, in New Year's, it'll be 2021, not 2020. But what I was thinking I could do is either put some washi over this and then just like some decorative washi, like thin, so that you don't see it and cover it up or I could get those like date numbers, like the date dots and put some washi here and like kind of cover it up if it was like foiled. I think that would look really nice, like some silver foil 2021 or just like, yeah, that would look nice. So, or I could just not use this box. I mean, so we have options. So I don't know, but that's a problem for another time. And right after that, I've got another kit from Sticky Essentials, one that doesn't fit in my little dividers, but I really like this kit. It's called Boss Bee, and I, purple is my favorite color, so I'm very partial, and I just think it's so cute. I love all the purples, and I love all of the fashion girls, so I'm really excited to use this, and I think right after New Year's, you're always feeling like really inspired, like time to get things done, like new year, new me, and like, after this year, I really feel like we're gonna be really ready for a new start, fresh page. So I think this is gonna be a really good kit for that. So moving on from that, I have, this is a glitch kit from Glam Planner. I think it's called Tiny Home. And so I have that in the luxe version. I think it's really cute because after you get like all your work done, maybe you're gonna do some cleaning. I think that's cute. Then I do not have a kit for this week. So this is the first week I think so far where I don't have anything really planned, but I'm sure by January I'll have purchased some more <laughs> stickers. So don't worry about me. Then oh, got another week where I haven't had anything planned, but again, I'm not worried about it because it's all the way next year. Then I think that I looked it up and this is when the um, Super Bowl is supposed to be. So I have a the game day art from Scribble Prince Co. And I really like all the food pictures because that's really why I go to um, Super Bowl parties for all of the fried food and the chips and guac. So that plus some glitter headers and some washi. Then, oh, I have the week of Valentine's week and I haven't decided, I have some options actually for this week, but I haven't decided what I'm going to use. I definitely wanted February to be mostly pink kits. Um, but I think that me and my boyfriend might be going to a wedding um, this week and so I think I might want to use a wedding kit or maybe just a Valentine's Day kit. I haven't decided so I'm just leaving this here. Then I have the art from Cherry by Scribble Prince Co. This is so fun and bright and then I have some functional stickers from a different Valentine's kit. I think it still goes really well together but I have this like very bright 
washi. Moving on, I've got another pink and pretty kit. I'll just move this so you can see it. From Sticky Essentials called Soft Glam. And I just love the blush. Like, oh, I wish my room could be like this. Blush is one of my favorite colors besides purple. Like, it, when it comes to like decorating things, I really like blush. Um, as a color, it's very warm and inviting. So, I'm a fan. Then I have Me Time by Scribble Prints Co. I think this is also an ultimate kit. So this is the first week of March. Then I don't really know what I'm doing here. This is the week of March 8th through the 14th. I was trying to do like a New Orleans type of kit, maybe even like a Princess Tiana kit. I'm, I'm not really sure. I just, I liked it and then I cut all the green and I feel like green's good for March. Um, so I'll just show you what I have pulled. So far, this is very subject to change. I know that this doesn't totally go, but I thought the greens went and the pink would kind of pick up this pink in the background. I don't know. I really don't know. This is leftovers from another kit. So I really like this art though. Like I like the uh, New Orleans theme. I think it's really cute. And I don't know if I would ever go end up going to New Orleans, so I don't know if I should save it for that. I don't know, I don't know. This kit, I don't have anything planned yet either. Then this week is, I know it's not Mother's Day, but it is my mom's birthday week, and so besides this um, full box, all the other ones really apply, and this just really looks like her to me, like she loves uh, bright colors like this, and like the little strawberry mimosas are so cute, and like I just really like it, and she wears a lot of like yellows and stuff, so. That was the kit I was gonna use for her birthday week. Then I accidentally bought this kit in the glitch sale. Like, no, I didn't accidentally buy it. Like I meant to buy it, but I don't think I realized that it was like babies. You know, like I just thought it, it was called like beach baby, but I thought it was like, you know, like a couple thing, like a, it's my beach baby. I, I guess it doesn't make any sense anymore, but that's what I thought. And I got really excited during the glitch sale. So I kind of, <laughs> I kind of just purchased it, but it's only the one full box, so I can just like omit using it because um, it's just basically a beachy kit without it. Moving on to April, um, I have this kit that I'm actually very excited about using. It'll be very out of my normal comfort zone. So I've got this art from Scribble Prince Co. It's called Spring Fling, and then I've got the checklist which I think are really really beautiful with the glitter in them and then I'll just flip them this way so I can keep it together I got some functional sheets from I believe it was like a like a Greek mythology inspired kit from Glam Planner then I have these fashion girls who are like kind of getting ready which I think is cute and then these glitter headers and then this green which I know like I feel like it'll make this green in the background pop a lot, like the grass, which I think will look really cute. And then I also have this green foil and scripts from, I got it in a Scroll Prince Co. mystery grab bag. Um, so it's not a color that I usually would pick for myself, but I think it'll actually look really nice with this kit. So that's what I have planned for April. And then for Easter week, or the week of Easter, not Easter week, but the week of Easter, I have this egg hunt art from Scroll Prints Co., which I thought was nice that I got in the full box grab bag that I got, and then some glitter headers, and then this like, I think it's a macaroon themed kit from Glam Planner, but I just thought the pastel colors looked pretty nice. I also did receive a ultimate kit of this exact like art when I ordered it from the Scroll Prince Co. Scroll Prince Co. Random Pull kit, and so I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up using that or this and save one for next year. But I really do like how I kind of put this together. So to be determined. Then I have another Franken kit, Franken kit for the week of April 19th through the 25th. So this is like a nice like purple and blue, which, you know, I really like that color combination. And just 
April, I just am really reminiscent for the standard colors from before where it was all like purples and blues and I just thought it was so pretty with the pinks and stuff. So these heart checklists, which I think are nice. I know that this doesn't really go with the kit, this um, big full box, but I feel like the half boxes will and the appointment label will still go. And I think with this, all of these functional stickers will go. I'm not sure if this stuff will go. Obviously like this box doesn't really go, but I think I could put this box in my sidebar. And then I could use these and like some of the other decorative pieces. So to be determined. Then last but not least, I have a Scribble Prince Co. Um, Fam 4, it's like a welcome home baby full box. And although there's no babies on the horizon, like in my family or anything like that, I just do think this is a pretty kit. And I like all the purple and the blue, and I just think it's, I think it's really sweet. And then I have this purples and blues here that I think will go well. And then I have some checklists, some glitter headers, and this 15mm washi, which I think is beautiful. So I think I will use it regardless. And then here I just have some, I guess, full box extenders from Sticky Essentials. I've just tried using them for the first time, like last week, so I've used these two, and I like them. I think I meant to get the tall box extenders, but I ended up getting the full boxes, but these are still nice too, so I just keep them back there. I guess I should have mentioned that basically all of my stickers are from Glam Planner and Scribble Prints Co. Um, and Sticky Essentials, but I guess you've seen that so far. So that's how I store all of my um, weekly kits um, in this binder right here. I think I might do another video explaining how I organize like my character stickers, my foil, that sort of stuff, my script. So if you're interested in that, please give this video a like and comment down below if you'd like to see that video too. But for now, this is my entire kit collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.